Yo, 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 YouTube. I'm coming at you with a Halo 5 kind of dissection video. Um, this is a film that I got a few days ago, or actually it might have been yesterday. Um, playing Breakout with a friend or two, and we're playing on the map Gamble. Uh, it's probably my worst Breakout map, to be completely honest. Um... It's just it plays weird. And I don't really like it. But um one thing that I've noticed with the um for, like theater mode for breakout at least, like it changes the POV. Not necessarily every round, but quite frequently honestly. Uh, it's kind of kind of annoying. But, whatever, um, yeah, I think this is game, I'm not 100% sure, but, it's a pretty decent game, um, that or it's a complete wrong video, or wrong game, I don't know, but, I'm pretty sure it, it is, but anyways, so, I'm gonna go into a little bit of the, like, mentality of um, like competitive gaming and if this is the right video oh what is going on Egg. weird um, I, I die a, quite a bit in this video uh, and at some points I do in the match I do get like frustrated I kind of let it get to me then kind of like chill out for a minute and I like recollect myself and I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna say the outcome but I mean it's a pretty interesting game um I'm gonna kind of like flip through everyone's POVs while I talk but I think we're about to go down 2-0 right now um, but I was just saying, you don't want to, I know it's hard when you're getting outslayed or the team is just doing better than you and it's, it's hard to like stay positive at times and it's hard to just like not freak out. And I play with a lot of people that actually do that a lot and I think because I'm playing with those people it's making me not necessarily act like that but it's making me like get more like angry so to say when I you know die or whatever especially in breakout like Ten seconds. that one life man especially when you're playing with a random like like three Black. like you and two other people and then you have a random and I mean, it would help if we were to go to game chat and talk to the person or invite someone that we played with or against that was doing solid and played as a team of four. Um, I honestly, I've been trying to get out of Diamond for like two days, and I think I need like an actual team of four to do it because, man... Is it crazy when it comes to like it was like last couple rounds Three on one. and just can't really rely on that that last person to especially if you if you not Round not playing one. with them it's it's hard to rely on on those guys Round four. but as I was saying like you don't want to get too focused in on death you kind of want to like try your hardest just stay relaxed stay stay cool don't let things get to you too much just like kind of take it as like you know oh uh, well next time I'm gonna do you know whatever differently like I think I challenged this kid and that's I, I die here I'm not sure but we're up 
No, we're actually down two, three right now. And we're down two rounds. And if you haven't played Halo 5 or Breakout yet, uh, it is first to five round wins. So, this is round, technically round four. Um, because round two went to a draw. So, as you can see, the team is up, their team is up three to zero oh on the. We're going into the fifth round, and I will. I'm not gonna lie. I was kind of freaking out because I was like, "Dude, I can't believe." Actually, this was the first game yesterday that I played. Well, not yesterday, but uh, Thursday. I I couldn't remember what day it was. This was my first game of the day. No, Wednesday. I am so messed up right now because yesterday was Friday. Or today, tech. Oh, forget, forget me. Wednesday. I, this game was from Wednesday. Uh, it was my first game of the day. And you really don't want to lose the first game of the day. Because a lot of times it sets the mood for like the rest of your day. And if you come off, if you come off like just start playing and you lose your first game that you come on you're gonna be like well this is gonna be a shitty day I'm just gonna lose like every single game that I'm gonna I'm gonna play I'm gonna I'm just gonna lose and that happened a couple times today actually we lost like I want to say like five games in a row of Team Slayer and I'll tell you what I was getting heated man I was like how the hell are we losing all these games in a row? Like, I don't understand what's going on. And now this just sounds stereotypical. Oh, it was it probably wasn't your fault, right? Yeah, it wasn't my fault, man. I was going in. Like, shit, man. It's on stream. It's it's on my my most recent broadcast. Freaking. I was getting, I was getting cheated, man. I swear. But we're, right now we're up one. Now we're up two. But again, like I was saying, especially in Halo. Now, I'm gonna, part of this video is gonna be Halo, and then part of the video is gonna be Call of Duty. Uh, I'm gonna start with the Halo portion, obviously. But Halo. It's more like outsmarting the other team, whereas in Call of Duty, it's more or less like it comes down to like individual like uh, gun skill. And that's not necessarily, I'm not necessarily saying that Halo there, you know, it doesn't take as much gun skill, but Halo, it's like if you're in a bad spot on the map, chances are you're not going to get the kill just because of like whether it's height advantage that the other the other person has on you or like there's like a wall on their side and they could just bounce back and forth between that and you have no cover and you just leave yourself in a really shitty position and like right here I'm kind of in a really bad spot and you want to stay by walls especially in breakout man cuz walls are literally your best friend um especially on this map man this map is Something else. It is just. It's it's weird, man. I just don't like it. <laughs> One minute but, left. And like in Call of Duty, yeah, and map placement matters. But like in Call of Duty, one mistake is not really too big of a deal. Um, because like a lot of the times you can still out. Like even if you have shots, if you're down shots. And you get into a gunfight, you're like someone, basically you can turn on people a lot easier in Call of Duty than in Halo. Halo, you have to be seconds. like super accurate if you're down shots. And a lot of people choke in those situations and that's where like people that like are getting upset or whatever in the middle of the game, they kind of just like, they, they let that get to them and then they kind of like, oh I really got to win this fight and they kind of choke it. That's the difference mainly between, uh, like, gun skill between Halo and Call of Duty. And I've, I've played 
played Halo more competitively. I have more, um, like events and stuff. Facing elimination. Like competitive, just competitive gaming in general, uh, under my belt on Halo than in uh, Call of Duty. Like, I didn't play Call of Duty competitive until Black Ops 2, and it was like. It was weird, man. Cause I didn't go. I didn't go to any events. I played a little bit of GBs and some UMGs, and I'd say all in all, on Black Ops 2, I even. I mean, I played a little bit of Ghost and a little bit of Advanced Warfare, but I didn't win anything on Advanced Warfare because I only won like 30 bucks on Black Ops 2. Um, but I mean. It's, not bad. Or, like that being my first competitive COD, but Halo I've won a few hundred. Uh, I met like some of the Halo pros, like Ogre Two Man. He's he's a beast. I played him in Reach, which like I met I played against him on LAN in Reach, him and Strong Side and. It was, it was not fun, man. I got, we got worked. We were not, we were not prepared for that, man. I mean, it was still fun as hell. It was, that's like a pretty rare occurrence. And it was like a local tourney. It wasn't like an MLG event. It was just like local tourney down in Columbus, and it was hosted by like Geekers Gaming. And at one time, even though I got no sleep because my friend called me. Early in the morning, I go to it. That guy I almost choked it, but that guy choked his melee, which is even worse. But yeah, anyways, so like, you want to stay? I know I'm getting off topic on here. I I have an issue with that when I'm talking. I kind of like drift off onto other shit, and I apologize for that. This is supposed to be like a. This is just gonna be like a commentary. I'm just gonna talk about a bunch of random shit. Um, but, like, I put myself in bad, in bad spot right here. I, I, I die. I was pinched on the right side, and then I had two guys in front of me, and I was just really bad spot. But, uh, I think we edge it out this round. I'm not sure. It might go to draw again. I don't know. But this, is the, this was the longest game of Breakout I have ever played, and... It was intense the entire time because we had to go big every single round, man. Because um, I mean, we're, we're down. Like, they win one more round, it's game over. But we're edging it out, man. Three to four. But when it comes to Call of Duty, I feel like. In like competitive aspect, it's easier to get a grip on than in Halo, because Halo is, is in Call of Duty you can have one teammate pretty much lay the shit out of the other team, and at one point okay when you're playing respawns, because search and destroy is a different is a different ball game, but you got a you got a really good slayer, you can pretty much just have the other. The other teammates just play like objective, or you know, like a, have another one like just sit back and like play in a, like secondary slayer role. But obviously, he's not gonna be doing as good as like the main slayer. It's like imagine having like Scumpy on your team, man. I'm not saying that it's it's gonna be like a really easy win, but I mean he's such a good slayer that like he himself can. Like force the tide of a game just by like how much kills he's probably going to end up getting in a game. And I'm not saying he's the best slayer, but I'm saying he's one of the top, uh, top three. But I didn't really watch much of Advanced Warfare because I just didn't enjoy the game. But when it comes to like one player making a team in Call of Duty, that's where it really matters. Halo, it's kind of like everybody's got to be on par with one another or your team's gonna be is gonna be hurting. Um, and a lot 
lot of people, especially like when in like Search and Destroy and like Breakout, a lot of people in situations like this, they would just push out, not knowing where this guy's at, and then they would just more than likely end up just dying. So it's smart, especially in games like this, Round where you just five. sit back, play it safe, Especially when that you're about to lose like this, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're going into round 11. Like, that is a lot of rounds for a game. Like, this is like, this is like 5-5 five, five in Search and Destroy right now. Like, that's how huge this is. But, regardless of that, like, nobody cares about that. Um, Four on two. crazy because like in the beginning of this game I was really upset and I was pretty much just doing stupid shit and getting myself killed. I don't like this the entire beginning of the game except the beginning of the game I would have just charged that kid. And I didn't know he was right there. So he ends up cleaning me up there. I was like I got a, I had a teammate here and he, I think he had camo so he was gonna get the up on that guy. Um, like when I when I saw that guy, I didn't know he was there. So he ended up getting getting me there. But uh, I'd say probably around four, four or five. Around four or five. I like I was just like you know what, I can't be getting pissed because it's just making me play like absolute trash, and I really fucking wanna win. So. Put my tryhard panties on. Stop crying like a little girl. Start playing like, you know, like I'm, I want to say a professional because I'm not a professional player, but I mean, I started playing like someone that would be at a competitive, you know, at a competitive professional level, and I just, I just made it work, man. I ended up making it work, and now we're four up this guy he doesn't know what the fuck's going on one minute left and we're gonna end up winning the game but you gotta if you're having difficulties staying positive and not necessarily kd wise i know there's a lot of people that complain about that there's like oh i'm not positive in the game so you know there's no reason for me to like enjoy it like that's gonna hurt not only you but your teammates as well, especially when you're you're screaming in the middle of a game. Like you can't be raging out loud, because you're just gonna screw your teammates up. Because they're gonna be like, instead of listening to your call out, like that you could have been, you know, saying like, you're just sitting there freaking out, and nobody, nobody wants to hear someone freak out. Because let's be honest. If you're gonna be freaking out, you might as well just mute your mic. Because if you're just gonna instead of if you're gonna waste your energy and your breath screaming about some kid that like one upped you or whatever or outshot you or is just absolutely slaying the shit out of you, instead of calling him out and you're gonna scream. Might as well just mute your mic, cause you're just you're just gonna end up like distracting your teammates. They're not gonna be able to hear what other people are doing. They're not gonna be able to hear like all this other stuff, and like it's just you're just gonna make your team you know, put your team in a worse position than they sh they should they should be, cause no team should have a dude on their team just freaking out like every 30 seconds or whatever. It's like. You got like, in, especially in those situations, you gotta think about your teammates. Cause you can't just you can just think about yourself. You're like, oh well, my KD matters more than this win. So imagine if you were at an event, and you're playing for money, and you're like, oh, but my stats, man, I got my stats. That's what that's what matters, man. My stats, my stats. No one is gonna give two flying shits if you drop 20 kills and four like four deaths in like a slayer or an objective game which when it kills an objective kind of shitty I checked there but uh like you just gotta 
you gotta use use your head like literally use your head like don't freak out because you died a couple times in a row or because you can't kill someone or because someone's better than you like you gotta you gotta take from the games so you just gotta think and some people just don't some people just don't think when they play and I know a lot of people that do that actually a lot of people that don't think they just run around aimlessly doing shit and the fucking people up and shit it's not a good thing but I'm gonna try to wrap this up after this video is over, or after this gameplay is over of this SWAT game I played earlier on my Onyx. I played two Onyxes, a Diamond, and then an Unranked on the other team. And it was me and Schwine, we were the Onyxes on our team, and then the other the other two kids on our team were Unranked. Uh, this is a decent game. SWAT. Play gets an, a kill tag, and then that guy, I saw him spawn there, but he was, he was gone. But, yeah, if you, like imagine being at an event, you trying to just stat whore, instead of go play for the win, like, no one, no one on your team is going to be mad at you if you win the game, or like win that match, or like win that map, you go negative, like no one, no one's going to care, you, unless you weren't doing objective, you were just, Go, running around dying and not doing anything and you're freaking out and like won the map you just I don't know what the fuck you're doing I, I honestly I have no idea what I have I don't even know what to say about that that's like a, an insane scenario I've never been at a, at a, at a, at a uh, uh, I've never been at a LAN or an event and I had a teammate or even myself freak out because I was dying a lot and I was doing terrible and I was like my stat and we end up winning the game and then my teammates were like well dude you're fucking trash because we won the game you're freaking out you were complaining and you still went negative like well, what the fuck's your issue that's never happened to me then again I've ne also never done that in an event but I don't even man that that's got me thinking there's probably people out there that freak out on their teammates, not going positive. I understand if you're the, if you're supposed to be the main slayer for the team, and you're getting dookie done, and they need you to be slaying, and you lose the game. Well, that's just a whole other thing, though. That's losing the game. But if you lose, if you win, I mean, fuck it. Just be like, yeah, let's go, guys. Uh, there's a lot of people. There's a lot of negative people out there, man. I swear. I right, think about it. They're they're toxic, man. Don't be the negative player, guys. Don't do it. Never be that negative player. Never be the guy that's angry in the middle of a game. If you are going to get angry, unplug your mic or mute it. One of the two. Take your headset off. Just don't portray your feelings, your negative feelings. If you're positive, like you just got like a sick double kill or whatever. Hype your team up, guys. Just, like, you let's fucking go. Like, don't be the negative player on your team. Even if you got to force yourself to be happy because you're getting shit on. Do it, man. Like, just, just do it. Uh, like, uh, I mean, <laughs> that's all I really got to say on that. I mean, no one wants to be that guy that just sits there in the middle of the game, all pissed off because he's not doing good and causes his team to lose. No one wants that guy on their team. And with that, I'm going to say peace. I hope you guys enjoyed the two games. I wasn't in, I wasn't expecting to do two, but I figured I kind of rambled on a lot during that first uh, gameplay. So I'd show you a, a quick little SWAT game I had a couple minutes ago. And give you some content, uh, some Halo 5 content, and you guys are going to be getting more of this, um, I've been streaming it a lot, actually, I've been streaming this game, probably like, seven plus hours, almost a day, 
uh, every day that I'm off of work, I've been streaming at least seven plus hours. And then the days that I do work, depending on when I get home, I'm streaming at least two or three hours. So, and it's hard for me to have a schedule, like I said, schedule for like uploads and stuff like that because it's like, because of my work schedule, it's so conflicting, but I have to make money because I got to pay bills and shit like that. So, you guys understand that. Um, but that's going to be it for this guy, this video, guys. Um, if you enjoyed the little bit of commentary I had on there and a little bit of the gameplay, go ahead and like the video. Don't forget to subscribe for more content and uh, comment. And let me know what you guys want to see. It really does help the channel. Um, YouTube. See you beautiful motherfuckers later.